sin, twas on one Sunday morn. Of course it was against his religion, but he took his gun along. He shot himself some very fine quail in one big measly hair. And on his way returning home, he met a great big grizzly bear. Well, the bear marched out in the middle of the road, and he walked to the coon you see. The coon got so excited that he climbed up a simmon tree. The bear sat down upon the ground and the coon climbed out on a limb. Then he cast his eyes to the Lord in the skies and these words said to him, Oh, Lord, didn't you deliver Daniel from the lion's den? Also deliver Jonah from the belly of the whale and then three Hebrew children from the fiery furnace, so the good books do declare. Now, Lord, if you can't help me, for goodness sake, don't you help that bear? Now, Mr. Bear, let you and I reason this year thing out together, eh? <coughs> nice bear. <coughs> Good old bear. <coughs> Will you please go away, Mr. Bear? <coughs> Say, Mr. Bear, if I should give you just one nice, sweet, good, juicy bite, would you go away then? <coughs> Oh, you would, eh? Well, I'll stay right here. <laughs> this coon stayed up in that tree. I think it was all night. He said, oh, Lord, if you don't help the bear, then you'll see an awful fight. Yes, about then the limb let go when the coon come a-tumbling down. You should have seen him get his rosser out before he struck the ground. He hit the ground, the cutting right and left, he put up a very game fight. Yes, then the bear hugged this coon, he squeezed him a little too tight. Mm, the coon then lost his rosser, but the bear held on with the vim. Then he cast his eyes to the Lord in disguise and once more said to him, Oh, Lord, didn't you deliver Daniel from the lion's den? Also deliver Jonah from the belly of the whale and den. Three Hebrew children from the fiery furnace, so the good book do declare. Now, Lord, if you can't help me, for goodness sake, don't you help that bear.